What's going on guys? It's Austin here or Luna. So I have a life story today. A good one. One of the 100k videos. Um, and I thought you guys would enjoy this. So, um, carnivals. They're all coming up soon. It's coming into June. There's carnivals coming up. Um, this didn't happen at my puke down carnival video. Um, I know some of you guys are probably thinking that. The old timers. Um, but yeah, carnivals. They're all coming soon. Uh, I'm sure you're all hyped to go do whatever you do, get stoned, go fucking ride rides, whatever you do. Um, and yeah, so this happened at a carnival that basically has no meaning to any of us. It's like 30 minutes away and no one ever goes to it. It's like one of the dead carnivals that no one goes to. Um, it is a good carnival. It's just like, I don't know, it's it's very lo it's located far away, so no one goes. So we went to this carnival stoned as fuck. With, uh, we had, my one friend had brownies on him, and my other friend had, like, a good gram on him, and he wanted to smoke with just me. So I said, hey, I'm down, let's fucking go there, stone, get more stone, ride a bunch of rides, and have fun, right? So, we go there, and we get to the carnival, and we fucking, we start riding rides, we're having fun, and we immediately are like, alright, let's, let's get high. So, uh, my friends go to do their edibles bullshit, um, he met up with other people at the carnival too, so, uh, he had plenty of people to go and do whatever he had to do with them, and me and my one buddy said, hey, you know, let's go smoke, and we went behind some trees, still on the carnival's property, um, but we were pretty secluded, it was like a, uh, it was like, oh, it was like kind of a path, I don't know how to explain it, it was like a tree path, I guess, but it was still on the carnival's property, and, um, it was kind of by the porta potty so, um, there were employees coming in and out from the porta potties and, like, we were kind of getting nervous, but, uh, we were, we were secluded enough, so, we started smoking, he had a bowl on him, and we, we smoked one bowl pack, and we were, um, after we got done with the first bowl pack, we still had a little bit left, so we were just doing the rest of it, and, um, you know, we were, we were packing fat ones, and, it was reeking, and we like we had this tree area. Just we were smoking and smoking, and it, it, obviously it's gonna linger, right? So it was lingering. Um, usually, I always smell weed at carnivals. No one ever does anything about it, so we weren't really worried. But um, all of a sudden, we heard a rustle in the trees, and we freaked out. We're like, "Holy shit! Someone's here! Fuck!" And before we knew it, it was an employee. It was a, we didn't even know it was an employee when it happened. This guy was just like, "What are you guys doing?" And he was wearing a neon green shirt blue jeans and work boots he looked like a construction worker and i was like uh nothing and my one friend's like oh yeah nothing we were just smoking cigarettes and the guy's like doesn't smell like cigarettes and my friend just kind of sat there you know like we were just pretty much dead like we didn't have anything to say so after staring at this guy awkwardly for about you know a good five seconds the guy just goes come with me so we're following this guy thinking, wow we're fucked but at the same time we're not that nervous because we didn't have weed on us um, we basically smoked the rest of what we had, and my friend, the minute he was walking away, he pulled a smart move. He pulled the bowl out and threw it the other way, just completely launched it like a fucking football, dude. He threw that shit far. And I didn't even see him throw it. I was looking the other way. I was just kind of daydreaming, walking. And yeah, we figured, we're like, oh, they're, they're fucking carnies, you know, what are they gonna do? So, he brings us to a fucking trailer. I shit you not, he brought us to a trailer. And we're like okay, like, this is creepy, it was literally, like, a trailer, you know, how, like, when it's a carnival, they kind of, like, tour the, the U.S., you know, building their carnivals in different places, so they do have trailers, um, he brings us to this trailer, and it's the leader of the carnival's trailer, or whatever, like, the owner of it, or something, so we go into the trailer, and we sit down at this dude's fucking, like, he's got this really nice, it's a nice-ass trailer, I'm not gonna lie, like, for a fucking trailer, it was nice, it was, like, some camper shit, so we sit down on these weird, like, booths, um, the kind of, like, couches, portable, like, couches things in the trailer, and the owner's there, and he's looking at us, and he's like, what's going on? And the carnival guy explains, you know, I, I caught them smoking on our property, and my friend kind of chimed in and was just like, you know, they're just cigarettes, what's the big deal? And the guy was like, it, it wasn't cigarettes, it smelled like drugs, and then the owner took it from there and started talking to us, so... Um, the worker who caught us actually left the trailer, so um, that was all good. But then the owner went on a full-on rant, basically saying, you know, drugs are not tolerated here. Smoking is not tolerated here. Even if it was cigarettes, you guys are underage. How old are you? Um, and he just basically interrogated us like a cop. And luckily, he didn't get police, even though there was police officers there. But luckily for us, what ended up happening was, is he basically went on a full-on rant, asked for our names, our age, our phone numbers, and our parents' phone numbers, um, my friend lied about his, I gave him my number, but I gave him a false number from my mom's, 
and then basically told us you are kicked out of the carnival, you are never allowed to come back here for the rest of your lives, and basically just straight up said that we're banned for life, and we have never went back since. But yeah, that's basically it. We are pretty much banned from that carnival for the rest of our lives, and um, yeah, we're, you know, message of the day, don't smoke at a carnival unless you uh, are off the property, so... Um, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. It would mean a lot. And uh, leave a comment below if you've ever smoked at a carnival before. Um, it'd be sick if we get at 3,000 likes on this video. And I'm out, guys. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. This has been Luna. Peace.